treating them now, do you recall the talking to Danny Rowling or conversing with him or writing to him about those words? No, I answered that. Do you feel today similar to the words that are expressed that you just read about Danny Rowland? Let me rephrase it. Do you share the same feelings as expressed in those words? Your Honor, at this point, and I will move to strike the reading of those words as hearsay. Now what Mr. Wallace is trying to do is teleport Danny Rowland's feelings and concepts into this courtroom without calling into the witness. The objection to this question is sustained. Rephrase your question. Did you in any way edit those words that you just read? Did you make any changes to them during the course of the writing of this book? I may have. Excuse me, to answer that, I would need to refer to my working documents. Isn't it true that in the preface of the book you say you don't change anything of a substantive nature regarding Danny Rowling's writings? That is correct. So from that statement in the preface to the book, and based on what you just read, do you now recall making any substantive changes to the paragraph that you just read from that book? No. Okay. So my question is, based on what you read, do you have any doubt that those are Danny Rowling's words? No, I have no doubt that those are Danny Rowling's words. So my question is, having read those words, do you have the same feelings for Danny Rowling as those words expressed in the book that you just read? I would object again. What's attempting to be done here is to place Danny Rowling's feeling, his concepts, and his ideas before this court without calling him as a witness. It's a hearsay, especially a hearsay response. I ask that this line of questioning be stricken. That what Mr. Ross is trying to do is to get in the words of Danny Rowling without calling him. And if he's not allowed to do that, he should properly call the witness. The witness is available to him. He can stay in custody, for Christ's sake. The right. objection as to this question is overruled. Go ahead. Thank you. My question is, please read it back. you don't share the same those feelings with him as he expressed in the book. Can I discuss this or do I just need to say yes or no? no I need you to, to please answer the question whether you ever told Danny Rowling that you didn't share the feelings that are in those words that you read. Just yes or no, that's it? Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. But I don't think that's a fair representation of the right, gist of the... Go ahead and give it. Give, okay. give it a fair representation. Okay. The, the paragraph that I read was the main subject was his feelings for me. But as he winds up, he goes on to talking about eternity in Jesus Christ. And uh, we've had many discussions uh, to the effect that we don't agree uh, in regard to that. So the, the disagreement then is with respect to the use of Jesus Christ. Is that correct? We have had discussions about the fact that we do not agree.
How about uh, discussions with, about agreeing whether you and he profess love for each other? We've discussed our uh, emotions for each other many, 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 many times. Do you love Danny Rowling? Yes. To your best of your knowledge, does he love you? I don't know. Okay. Here's how you respond. <laughs> now, Miss London, you uh, established a website on the internet, did you not? Yes. And before you, there are copies of several exhibits, I believe A through to J. Can you please take a look at the copy in front of you? 